Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a bit of a cuteness overload um, as I show you some items I've purchased from the Paul and Joe range um, featuring their signature cats. Um, I am a cat lady, I, uh, I love um, cats, although I don't have any at the moment. Um, so how better to indulge um, uh, favour for felines with um, makeup uh, in one go and uh, get some pretty kitties on the makeup items. Um, Paul and Joe is famous for this. Uh, when I was about to do this video, I was in my mind thinking I'm going to tell you that they're a French company. Um, looking on the back of the products, all the products are made in Japan and um, the blurb is all in Japanese and English, although on the front of the um, packets, as you can see, it's um, in English and French. So I'm a bit confused by all that. I really ought to have looked up a little bit more about the range before I spoke to you. Um, this is why you probably should look at professional um, beauty bloggers and not listen to me meandering on. So um, let's have a look at these products, uh, which I got, by the way, from Beauty Bay. Um, so online, Harrods um, certainly stocks Paul and Joe, and I think Selfridges maybe Liberties too does, but I often read about these kind of limited releases, particularly of the kind of animal um, cat releases, flower releases, butterfly releases, read about them on blogs, go into Harrods or Selfridges and they never ever have them. So I think really um, to buy into these, you have to shop online. Um, what do I think? Well, um, I've only had a little go with them and I have put them back in the packets for two reasons. One, to show you the beautiful um, packaging, which how cute is it? These are the latest November for Christmas release. Um, but also a second thing I wanted to say, I was very agreeably surprised about how easy it is to get into these packets. One of my um, bugbears at the moment is breaking my nails trying to actually open packets um, or having to open them with scissors, that kind of thing. These, the little cardboard packets are beautifully designed, not only because they've got a really pretty, well, that's actually a see-through to the compact, um, which I'm going to show you in a minute, um, but they're designed with this little flap here. So easy peasy peasy, you open and out it comes. Now, um, a feature of the range is that you buy the empty compacts and the makeup separately. Um, gee whiz, you say, well, that um, allows them to make double the money, which may be true. But I think these are kind of collector compacts. And so people buy one each season if they're into Paul and Joe, and then you can slot the makeup that you preferred from a previous season into the new compact, etc., etc or you end up with just far more compacts than product. I don't know. Anyway, they're fairly reasonably priced. So I have for once actually got the price list with me and the compact case. So what you're seeing, this pretty compact, which is um, a sort of um, hardened cardboard. So it's not like it's, you know, made of anything fancy is um, called Gypsy Cat and it's only seven pounds. And uh, opening it up, what I've put in it um, there you see there's another little picture inside is uh, one of the blushes which I had to order separately and um, that was called Powder Blush 02 Rebel and that was £12.50. Now I have tried this blush, it's very very pretty. Um, it's not terribly pigmented as you can see, very very soft, goes on easy. I think this may be my fault for the colours that I chose which were kind of the lightest colours. They do show up on the cheeks. Um, and actually that's looking slightly more pigmented in this low daylight than it was in electricity when I tried it on my cheeks last night. Um, swirling them together is quite pretty for fur girls. Um, there's a little bit of glitter there, but no kind of fallout. And again, um, there's a little um, dent here so you can this is how you get the um, the inserts come in a separate um, box with the little lip, easy to get in. Uh, it's a magnetic pan 
um, and you just slot it in like that. Easy peasy. So really, really worked. Very well designed. You know, it's not made of super expensive material. It's kind of paper and plastic, but it does the job uh, actually very, very conveniently. So kudos for them to them for that. And really, really pretty. Can I just mention, I haven't got any at the moment, uh, but I have in the past bought their nail varnish remover solely on the basis it has the prettiest bottle ever. Um, again, uh, definitely worth looking out for. And Harrods and Selfridges do stock that. So uh, the other thing I should mention is that this compact size also fits their eyeshadows. So you could choose an eyeshadow duo and um, use it in the compact. And there were, I think, two or three new kitty compacts for this season. Now, I also indulged in... Um, this little fella, which again, I'm showing you the really pretty cardboard box. It's the lip treatment balm. Um, this was a whopping, ooh, yeah, 14 pounds. So the most expensive product, weirdly enough, a lip balm, um, made from olive oil, interestingly. And this one isn't that a handsome cat, uh, just gorgeous for your handbag. Perhaps not as sophisticated as, um, Chanel but rather pretty and uh, a nice old-fashioned tin and uh, a seasonal fragrance this one is stolen supposedly I don't know if it says that on the back um, no it doesn't it's just got zero five it's actually um, tastes and smells of orange to me which I'm fine with because you know I love citrus and uh, it's a very nice um, not particularly uh, sticky balm. It definitely feels like a kind of oil-based balm, um, but tastes and feels nice on the lips, uh, as it should do for £14. And then in the set, there was another one which was um, mulled wine, which I can't stand, so I didn't get that fragrance and it wasn't as pretty a picture. Uh, and then I couldn't resist a hand cream as well in the same design. And in fact, I got the same fragrance, how I'll feel about smelling of stolen, I don't know. Bizarrely, the hand cream is only £11. There it is. Quite a small tube, but again, really, really pretty packaging. Just gorgeous. Um, and again, this one, which is meant to smell of stolen, smells to me more of of orange. Um, it's a, quite a thick cream, um, very nice on the hands. Um, perfect little stocking filler. Um, most people would be very happy to see that, wouldn't they? And who doesn't need hand cream? So, um, I, you know, can't speak highly enough about this little range, really. I think the price point is a very friendly one for nice gifts. Uh, they're really well designed um, and, you know, they seem to do what they say on the tin. So um, good luck to Paul and Joe. As I say, the only disadvantage is you may have to send away to um, Beauty Bay or somewhere like that to get them. I will say it's the first time I've used Beauty Bay and uh, it was a very quick um, turnaround and delivery. So no complaints there. I should mention the other item I got from um, Paul and Joe, which... You might think it's a bit of an indulgence and it's their um, facial cotton pads. Now, some premium cosmetic um, companies, um, looking at you, Chanel, um, do these, as do um, Shiseido. I've had their ones before. Most of the Japanese, Korean brands um, seem to, for some reason, produce these uh, special cotton sheets. And they can be extremely expensive. I mean, I think Chanel's are about £20 or something ridiculous. And Shiseido's, I'm going to say, is £8 or something like that. Now, these are, um, I'm just looking on my, yeah, £3 for 80 pieces. So, actually, um, when you think about it, I think that's more than I get. Um, bearing in mind, these are quite thick individual sheets. Um, that's more than I get in a standard sort of um, plastic pack of these, which usually come in kind of rounds about half that size. 
um, you know, uh, in plastic with cotton at the top from Superdrug or Boots or whatever. And they're always over a pound. So actually, it isn't that bad value. And they um, feel really silky soft, super absorbent. Um, if you were being prudent, you could cut them in half because you definitely don't need a pad that size. Um, or if you don't mind kind of keeping one on the side, you can use it more than once. Um, so uh, quite a nice, well-priced little indulgence, I would have said, again, from Paul and Joe, um, which I would recommend. So um, there we go. I may show you some more of my animal-based uh, or animal-decorated cosmetics another time, because I do have a few, um, mainly from the Korean um, brands who seem to love them so much. Um, but that's all for another day. Until next time, bye for now.